Hi, friends from Fusion Next Eye. Today I bring you a topic that will leave you speechless, how to hack the human brain with electromagnetic waves. Is it possible to access the thoughts, emotions, and decisions of other people through the use of devices or techniques that alter the electrical activity of their neurons? Are we exposed to being manipulated or having our information stolen without realizing it? What risks and benefits does this technology have for humanity? In this video, we will answer all these questions and more, so don't miss it. The human brain is the most complex and fascinating organ that exists. It is made up of about 100 billion neurons that communicate with each other through electrical and chemical impulses. These impulses generate electromagnetic waves that can be measured with different techniques, such as electroencephalography, EEG, functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, or magnetoencephalography, MEG. These waves reflect the mental state of the person, their level of attention, memory, creativity, mood, etc. They are also related to different cognitive functions such as language, learning, reasoning, or decision-making. But the most surprising thing is that these waves can not only be observed but also modified. There are different methods to stimulate or inhibit brain activity by applying external electric or magnetic fields. Some of these methods are transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, transcranial electrical stimulation, TDCS, deep brain stimulation, DBS, or optogenetics. These methods can have positive or negative effects on the brain depending on the area, intensity, and frequency of stimulation. For example, it has been shown that TMS can improve cognitive performance, memory, attention, or creativity in healthy people or those with neurological disorders. It can also induce hallucinations, alter the sense of self, or modify religious or moral beliefs. TDCS can increase learning, concentration, or impulse control. It can also cause mood changes, headaches, or skin burns. DBS can relieve symptoms of diseases such as Parkinson's, depression, or obsessive-compulsive disorder. It can also cause side effects such as infections, brain hemorrhages, or personality changes. Optogenetics can activate or deactivate specific neurons using light. It can also generate cellular damage or brain inflammation. As you can see, these techniques have great potential to improve the quality of life of people who suffer from neurological or psychiatric problems. They can also be useful for enhancing the cognitive or emotional abilities of healthy individuals. However, they also have a dark side, they can be used to hack the human brain. What does hacking the human brain mean? It means accessing the private data stored in our minds, such as our memories, secrets, preferences, or passwords. It also means altering our behavior, opinions, emotions, or decisions without our consent. How can this be done? By using devices or applications that capture brain waves and analyze them with artificial intelligence algorithms or by using devices or applications that send electrical or magnetic signals to the brain and stimulate or inhibit it according to the desired goal. Is this a fantasy or a reality? Although it may seem like science fiction, there are already some real examples of how the human brain can be hacked with electromagnetic waves. Let's see some cases. In 2012, a group of researchers managed to decipher the dreams of several people using fMRI and machine learning algorithms. The researchers were able to reconstruct the images that appeared in the dreams with 60% accuracy. In 2014, another group of researchers managed to transmit a word between two human brains separated by thousands of kilometers using EEG and TMS. 
the researchers sent the word hello from India to France via the internet and stimulated the recipient's brain to perceive flashing lights. That represented the binary code of the word. In 2016, a team of hackers managed to extract personal data such as ATM PIN or home address from several volunteers using EEG and a fake mental games application. The hackers took advantage of the moments when the volunteers were distracted to show them images related to the data they wanted to obtain and capture their brain responses. In 2017, Another team of hackers managed to control a drone with their thoughts using EEG and a brain-computer interface. The hackers used a commercial helmet that measures brain waves and connected it to software that translates the signals into commands for the drone. These are just some examples of what can be done today with the neurotechnologies available on the market. But it is important to note that these technologies are constantly evolving and are becoming more sophisticated and accessible. That is why it is important to be alert and protect our brain against possible cyber attacks. How can we do it? Well, there are several measures we can take to avoid being victims of brain hacking. Be aware of the risks and benefits of neurotechnologies and use them responsibly and with criteria. Inform ourselves well about the characteristics and conditions of use of devices or applications that measure or modify our brain activity. Do not share our brain data with third parties without our explicit and informed consent. Do not expose ourselves to unnecessary or unknown electric or magnetic fields that may affect our brain. Use computer security tools such as antivirus, firewalls, or VPNs to protect our devices and networks against possible intrusions. Support legal and ethical initiatives that regulate the appropriate and respectful use of neurotechnologies and guarantee our fundamental rights such as mental privacy, personal identity, free will, equitable access, and non-discrimination. These are some recommendations to prevent brain hacking and defend our freedom and dignity as human beings. I hope you liked this video and that it has made you reflect on this interesting and relevant topic for our future. If you want to know more about how to hack the human brain with electromagnetic waves, I invite you to visit the links that I will leave you in the video description. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to not miss any content. See you in the next video.